Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're sorting out somebody else's paintwork. Um, my best mate, someone knocked into his motor and the guy said, oh, I'll take it to my body shop and get it sorted for you. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, no problem. And um, yeah, he's, uh, he's not happy with it and he wants me to redo it all and put it right, put it back to how it was. Uh, it's gonna be an hard video because uh, I'm trying not to, <laughs> what's the word? How do I say this politely? Try not to slate the other guys. Um, it's a tough situation because I do know the person. Um, and it turns out he's been took to like a trade painter and it'd be fine if it was a 1500 quid motor or something, but he owes my mate about 15 grand. Uh, and it's a lovely car, it's one of the newer uh, ST3s. It's all mount tuned, this, that, and the other, and got this and that, and you know. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice car, and he's sort of broke his art, which I don't blame him. Um, this ain't a video to slag other people off, it's just, uh, this is what happens sometimes, you know? Um, so, the paintwork ain't right, I've got to put it right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what more can I say? I'll, uh, I'll try and show you what we've got correct. Uh, but the long and short of it is, I'm pretty much doing the whole passenger side, back bumper and rear quarter and blend into the rear door and the driver side. So um, I'll try and show you, it is really hard to show. Um, but yeah, I'll try and show you it and then I'll see you in a moment, all right? All right, it's really hard to show, but this is full of silicon in here. I don't know what you're seeing, it's really hard to see on the screen. Uh, there's loads of silicons in it, all dry up here. You've got a patch there that I can't even see on the screen. It looks like a burn through. <coughs> Underneath here, you've got loads of silicon and loads of uh, ropey bits. There's now a scratch through there. Uh, and there's now two or three dings in it which weren't there that need sorting out. It's so hard to show in the sun and in the, on this colour, but it's, it's hard to show in the dark, like in the workshop. And this rear arch, you're not going to see it, but there's a burn through along here on this little swage line uh, that's been polished back up. All the rubbers have been killed compound everywhere and this has already been washed I've already washed the car down I don't know if you can see that this is my best mates 15 grand dream, dream motor. <laughs> More there. And up here on top of the wing. You can see all of that. Very hard to see. All silicon. I just found some more at the front of the wing as well. And this is the rear quarter. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see. There's the burn through. Run right along the edge there. So, uh, we need to sort that out as well. And the back bumper. Hopefully you can see some of that. It's quite hard to see on the camera. But, uh, yeah. 
we've got quite a bit to sort out. So, yeah, as you can see, this is already getting a long video. <laughs> um, so, let's start how we mean to go on. Let's get this stripped down and start getting it ready. There's a lot of stuff to come off uh, to do it right. Mouldings, trims, door handles, back bumper, lights, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on. See you in a bit. Guys, as you just saw, bumpers off, splash guard removed. I've unbolted that and removed the bracket so I can get a decent finish inside there on the wing. Uh, door handles removed, mouldings removed, and the same again on this side. The mouldings out. It came to me with that rubber on the door rubbers uh, not stuck on, so I'm probably going to repair that for them, try and glue it back. Um, they always come off on the later focuses, it's a bit of a nightmare. But at least we can get to everything now. I'll give that a bit of a scrub out for him. Uh, gonna do now is strip this bumper apart and get all the grills out. There we go guys, that's the bumper all stripped down. Uh, I just cleaned it, there was loads of gravel and rocks and stuff beyond that trim, and it was covered in tar. All underneath, all on the bottom, all down here where the grill bits go. There was loads and loads of tar in there. So I removed all that with some tar remover, and uh, we just give it a quick clean up. So that's ready for me to start sort of prepping. Look, there's all these are polished residue, you can see where they didn't take the sensor off or the bumper off and they've just painted around it. So we've got to rectify that and the same up here. So uh, we'll get that sorted. Uh, what you might have seen in the time lapse, I was using my chalk pen and um, I marked up the sensors. So the right hand side one and two, left hand one and two, and also because these door handles are electrical, they've got sensors in them. Left front, left rear, and then right rear. So um, they're probably gonna get painted anyway, because I think it's painted over them, but just mark them up so you know where they are, where they've come from. It makes life a little easier. And uh, yeah, we're getting there now. We're nearly ready to start the prep. And uh, crack on with the next stage. I've done everything I wanted to do today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna call this the uh, strip down stage. And then the next one, we're gonna do the prep stage and the repairs, and then we're gonna do the painting. So uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Massive welcome and hello to all the new subscribers. Uh, we're getting so close to that 10,000 mark. So uh, share the videos about and um, 
hopefully we can get there and I'm going to put a post up soon for a Q&A. When we hit 10,000, I'm going to go live, try and answer all your questions. I get loads of questions all the time. Uh, I know loads of you are new and loads of you have been here since uh, we had nothing. And um, it's gone mental, absolutely mental. Four months. Uh, I know some of you think I've been doing it for ages, but no, we started it about four months ago. And uh, it's going crazy. And uh, couldn't have done it without you lot. So thank you very much. I'm always humbled, to be honest. Uh, it's crazy to think that 10, 000, nearly 10,000 of you lot watch a middle-aged fat bloke <laughs> running around his workshop. <laughs> but hey, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, um, that's it. We're going to call it a wrap there. And... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll crack on with the preps side on the next video and um, go from there. So, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky. Oh, and if you ain't subscribed, hit that button. We need them numbers. Thanks. Laters.